Hi, everybody. This is Lainey. Hope you all are doing well. In this video, I will pay tribute to Colin Luther Powell, born on April 5th, 1937. He was an American statesman, diplomat, and four-star general who served as the 65th United States Secretary of State. He was the first African-American Secretary of State. He served as the 16th United States National Security Advisor. And he was also the first African-American Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. What an accomplishment. Powell was born in New York City and he was raised in the South Bronx. His parents, Luther and Maude Powell, immigrants to the United States from Jamaica. He was educated in New York City's public schools and received a bachelor's degree in geology from the City College of New York. He also participated in ROTC while in college and received a commission as an Army Second Lieutenant upon graduation in 1958. He was a professional soldier for 35 years, during which time he held many command and staff positions and rose to the rank of four-star general. He was the commander of the United States Armed Forces. Powell won numerous U.S. and foreign military awards and decorations. His civilian awards included the Presidential Medal of Freedom twice, the Congressional Gold Medal, the Presidential Citizenship Medal, and the Secretary's Distinguished Service Award. Wow, very impressive. Colin Powell's early life. Colin's parents were both of mixed African and Scottish ancestry. His dad worked as a shipping clerk, and his mom was a seamstress. He attended the now-closed Morris High School, from which he graduated in 1954. Powell married Alma Johnson on August the 25th, 1962. Their son, Michael Powell, was the chairman of the Federal Communications Commission, or the FCC, from 2001 to 2005. His daughter, Linda, is an actress, and his daughter, Anne-Marie, has a hobby of restoring old Volvos and Saab automobiles. He was a classic American success story. Mr. Powell served two decorated comeback tours in Vietnam. He was later National Security Advisor to Ronald Reagan at the end of the Cold War. As chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, he was the architect of the invasion of Panama in 1989 and of the Persian Gulf War in 1991, which ousted Saddam Hussein from Kuwait. Colin Powell said one of the biggest mistakes of his career was saying that Iraq had weapons of mass destruction and they did not. He said that hunted him at the time that it happened and it would probably haunt him until his death. He was lied to like there were weapons of mass destruction and it wasn't. He met Alma, his wife, on a blind date and he also leaves behind outside of his wife three adult children, four grandchildren. Colin Powell supported Barack Hussein Obama for president twice. He also supported Hillary Clinton 
for president and he threw his support behind the current president, Joe Biden, even though he, Colin Powell, was a Republican. The later years of his life, he threw his support behind the Democrats that were running for president. So to recap some of General Colin Powell's accomplishments, he was the first black U.S. Secretary of State, the first black White House National Security Advisor, former chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, served two U.S. Army tours in Vietnam, just to name a few of his accomplishments. Powell was being treated for blood cancer and also Parkinson disease. He had beat prostate cancer a few years ago, died due to the effects of the blood cancer and his immune system. He died from complications of COVID-19. Sadly, COVID-19 may overcast everything that he fought for, his service to the United States of America. One final note, pray for his wife, Alma, who is also recovering from COVID-19. So there you have it, a little bit of history on the general, Colin Powell, condolences to his family and friends. And yes, he was a way maker and a trailblazer in the United States of America. Be well, stay safe, and stay in peace, not pieces. Hit that bell so you will know every time I upload a video. Word of the year, peace, peace. Deuces, see you soon.